Hi. In this lesson, we are going to introduce you to the four different types of freeform curves. This is going to be a very, very basic introduction. In the next lessons, we're going to dive quite a bit deeper. Okay. A couple of hotkeys that I'd like you to memorize. F10 turns your points on. F11 turns your points off. You don't know what points are yet, but points are something that you are going to become quite familiar with, and they are used in the creation and the um, utilization of freeform curves. Okay. Now, the four different types of freeform curves are a handle curve, and a handle curve behaves very much like Adobe Illustrator. An interpolated point curve, and that means the points are created on the curve. A sketch, which is very, very easy to do. Uh, it's basically drawing, not terribly accurate, okay? Certainly not an elegant curve. You'll hear me refer in these lessons to about to elegant curves. And the last thing is the control point curve. And this is going to be your bread and butter here in Rhino 6, not the straight lines. Generally, it's going to be the control point curve, okay? There are going to be several subsequent lessons that deal with the control point curve and how important it actually is, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you these curves. These curves can, of course, be found under the curve menu. If I click on the curve menu and I go to freeform, you'll notice that there are a few different types of curves. Control point curves, which is, again, the important one the interpolated point, the handle curve, the sketch, okay? A few others that I'm going to talk about, all right? But they can be found right up here in this particular flyout, right-hand side, second one down. That's the curve or the freeform curve menu, all right? Now, the handle curve, which is, again, is like Adobe Illustrator, can be found right here, the fourth one over. And I'll click it. I'll read what it says, curve point. That basically means draw a point, draw a second point, draw a third point, and you'll notice that as I draw them, I can choose to use these handles to draw some lines that are in line with each other or not necessarily so in line with each other. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. If I select this curve, you'll notice I actually get some points, and these points are not on the curve they're not on this line. They are affecting that line. And you notice this is called a kink, right? Depending upon where these curves are in relation to each other and where they are on the line, right? In fact, I can select that curve and delete it. If I delete it, that point no longer has any control over that curve. I'm going to hit control Z and that kink disappears. I brought the kink back. Okay. Now, you can, again, you in Rhino 6, you can just select a line, any type of freeform curve, and it will show you its control points, right? And if I click off of it, the control points will disappear. If I want to use F10 or F11, I can do that, or I can grab these guys right here, right there. This little looks like a frowny face on an old text message. And that has to do with points off and points on, all right? So... If I click uh, show the control points here, I can then click the object and then hit enter and those points will stay on so I can begin to grab those points and move them around as opposed to if I didn't have the points on when I would click off like I'm doing here, the control points would disappear. All right, so that's a new addition in Rhino 6. I'm going to go ahead and turn my points off. I'm going to go over here, left click points off, select that, and I'm just going to delete it. All right. The next type is an interpolated point curve here, and you'll notice that as I begin to draw, these points actually will stick to this curve, enter, until I select the curve, and then you'll notice that the control points, which are points in space, which exhibit some sort of control, right, some sort of magical powerful force over these curves, you'll notice that those were not actually on that curve. All right, I'm going to select that curve and I'm going to delete it. The next one is called the sketch. That's basically just me holding down my left mouse and drawing. Right? And if I can hit enter to finish, if I select it, you'll notice here are a bunch of control points as well. And I'm going to go ahead and select this guy and delete it. 
The one that you really want to be working with is this one here, the control point curve. Okay, And in fact, that one's so common and so important in Rhino, I'm going to close that window that I just had open. And I'm just going to go over here to the left, and I'm going to click on it. And then that is, by default, going to be a control point curve. When you draw a control point curve, you're creating points in space that are going to, like I said, influence this curve. Okay. Once you've finished it, it'll disappear. You select it. You can find those control points. All right. Now, like I said, in the next lesson, we're going to dive deeper into what these control points actually are and how they work. This lesson is just to show you more or less where to find the icons for a control point or uh, for freeform curves. The last one I want to talk about is a control point curve through points. Okay. And that one can be found by right clicking over the main icon. So I'm going to right click. It'll say select points to build a curve through. I can select all these points I have. I can hit enter and then there we go I've got a curve that was created using those points you'll notice I'm gonna have to go up here and hit enter to accept the settings alright so there's those curves and you'll notice that these control points have not that much to do every point I drew on the curve has a corresponding control point that is somewhat near it but it's not on it. It's not a J. It is, I guess it's adjacent to it. All right. So I'm going to stop the lesson here. And in the next lesson, we're going to cover a little bit more about control point curves. Okay. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next lesson. Make sure you pay attention to it because it's an important one. Thanks. Bye-bye.